All right, so I think this is going to be a real short video about balloons and free body diagrams and the forces on balloons. So let's underline this real quick. So if we want to draw a balloon, let's just do a simple one where um, it's attached to a string at first and a kid's holding it. So you've got uh, your amazing, beautiful balloon, you've got your string, and you've got your, your child. This is a massive balloon, to be clear. And also, the kid has freakishly long arms. All right. So what are your forces on the balloon? Well, you obviously have to have some upward force to make it float, right? So you're going to have a buoyant force. And then you have to have a tension coming down to hold it down. So do not forget to include the weight of the balloon, though. Um, now, depending on the question, sometimes AP likes to ask where the, you have the weight of the whole balloon. Right, so that's going to be plastic or, uh, I don't know, plastic and the gas inside. But sometimes they're also, they just, they want to do them separately. So you're, you sometimes break this down into pieces and say, like, weight of the empty balloon and then also weight of the helium or air or whatever I'm just gonna say helium on my picture because it's floating like this it's gonna be helium mostly most likely um, okay so you, you might have to do these guys separately. So let's say that you've released a balloon now and it's, and it's traveling upwards. So separate that. So what are the forces that you have to consider now? Well, let's draw a picture. Awesome. So it depends on exactly what's going on, the relative sizes, um, but you're still going to have your weight. There is no tension anymore because you've released it. Um, so you're still definitely going to have a buoyant force. And then you're going to need you're going to need a drag force going down. So I'll write these out. FB equals buoyant force. Same up there, too. FD equals drag force. Now, in case we haven't talked about it much, or in case you need a reminder, the drag force is the force that um, any object moving through a fluid um, receives. So most people think of it as air friction but the, or air resistance, but air friction is kind of a bad term. It really isn't quite right. So air resistance is okay. Drag force is probably the best term. But so when the balloon is moving upwards, it's going to receive a drag force. So, so think of the drag force like it has to push the air out of the way to go through where the air was, right? It can't just the air just can't pass through it, so it has it takes a force to move that air out of the way, and so the air exerts a force back on it. Or water, you can also do it with water or oil or whatever you have, whatever else you have. Um, now the relative sizes of these depends, right? Because eventually, if you're considering air resistance or drag force, I think I guess AP like say ignoring air resistance or questions or whether or not ignoring air resistance, so. Air resistance is a, a name you might want to know. Let's write that down. But they'll tell you if you can ignore it. If they don't say you can ignore it, assume that you need it. And now, okay, so the relative sizes. If we've just released it, the 
then I'm going to have a net acceleration upwards, right? And so that means that my buoyant force must be greater than my drag force plus my weight. Now, if it's been released a long time ago, we're traveling at constant velocity. Yeah, fits. Then that means no, no acceleration, right? which tells me that the buoyant force is equal to the sum of the drag plus the weight. And remember, you might have to split this weight up into, um, into the weight of like the mylar of the balloon or the plastic or whatever it is, rubber, and then the weight of the gas inside. So you might see the weight term written as... Um, W equals mg for plastic, right? It's mass of empty balloon. And then plus rho helium, the density of the helium, times the volume of the helium of the, or of the balloon times g, because this will be the mass of the helium times gravity, right? So be looking for that. All right, I think that's going to be it for this one, guys. I'll see you in the next one.